Well, uh, Trevor, Trevor really set the tone for us today. And uh, I think it was big for him to go out there and, and uh, navigate the, the first five or six innings. But once I think that was critical. And of course, you know, we, we finally got some balls to fall for us and created a little bit of offense. Although, I tell you what's remarkable, they, they played, you know, these guys were just like good defense because I thought the ball, um, Ball could have, that ball was absolutely smoked. And then the, the ball CT hit. I, I, have, I can't believe either first base made that play. Those two plays right there probably might account for about three or four more runs. So that that held it at 3 1 for a longer period of time. And uh, but they're, they're a very good baseball team. I thought their starter did a great job. And uh, but we finally got some things to work. We're still swinging and missing too, too much. But uh, you know, we, we got some folks to swing and miss tonight also. So. Uh, we needed this, there's no question, because I think you know, the kids were in the dugout looking at each other and saying, are we going to ever score? And, you know, in baseball, those things can't be played behind you. Know, so, you know, the monkeys off our back a little bit there, and I think hopefully our kids can relax and, uh, and play baseball. Without a Kendall Graveman, John, I mean, you're going to need that Saturday innings eater so you can maneuver your bullpen on Fridays and Sundays. Can Trevor be that guy? Yeah, I think he can, because I think his breaking ball is better than it was a year ago. His change-up's better, so he can neutralize left-handed hitters. Uh, Better. You know, they, they started seven left-handed hitters today, six or seven, seven, seven left-handed hitters. So, I mean, he did a nice job. And it's a great test for us to, to see if we, you know, if our right-handers can, can neutralize left-handed hitters. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of excited about, about tomorrow. We're, we're going to talk about uh, either Bracewell or Dakota. You know, one of those two guys going to pitch tomorrow. And uh, we'll make that decision here shortly. But uh, either way, you know, both those guys will probably pitch tomorrow no matter what. You know, because it's a short outing for Holder, we'd have his availability. We'd have Lindgren's available, availability tomorrow. So, and uh, you know, really, uh, Sexton's in the mid mix. Uh, John Marchelli's in the mix. So we have a lot of guys. That's why I really wanted to play four games this first weekend. Of course, it didn't work out that way, but you, know, you really have to get deep in your pitching. And that's you kind of want that to, to be forced upon you as well. Talking about trying to score some runs, how big was it, was it then for you know Jake to kind of come? with some strikeouts and you know come through and finally get that offense started for you guys. Yeah, he, he was so good in the fall and, and during our inter squads in the spring, you know, we just knew he was going to get There was a space of time in the inter squads where I think got six straight hits. And at one point, when, you know, it was like 10 for 16 or something like that. So um, we knew he was going to get hits. But when you put the uniform on and you play in front of people, it's just different. And, and, you know, I, I think it's more different in baseball because, you know, when you – that jump from high school, you know, when virtually nobody watches you play, and, and even in junior college to this level, it, it's just different. And you start pressing and you're trying to do way too much. And he's hooking balls in the dugout. Everything's early. And he just did a nice job of letting the ball travel on and put the where he wanted it to be. I think when you get that first hit, you, you, you just feel like you're – monkeys off your back, back and I, I think, you know, Jake can, you know, really relax now and, and, and have better at that. Is that fair to say almost as a team as well? No doubt. Get the money, keep monkey after battle with the win too? No doubt. Um, I think offensively our kids can relax a little bit more and start taking better score. Talk about the job that Cody Brown's done for you getting on base the last two days. Yeah, Cody's, a, he has the potential to be an on-base machine. You know, the thing about Cody, um, and of course, she's talking about Vickerson. Is you kind of hope one or both those guys can turn into a Frazier type offensive player. You know, you, when you lose 107 hits off your ball club, which leads the country, you know, you start looking around who's going to get those hits, who's going to be the on base machines for you. And uh, th those two guys have a chance to be, be those guys. But, you know, neither one of them has played at this level. And, um, you got to get them experience, but at the same time, you got to try and win these games also. So seems like Cody's got that Alex Detts type mentality that no matter what the result is, he's going to see a lot of pitches. Yeah, he's going to see a lot of pitches, and yeah, that's critical in a game like today when you know their starting guy gets into close to 100 pitches early in the ball game. And you force the other club into their bullpen, and that's that's really your key in college baseball to, to trying to win ball games, getting into the other team's bullpen as soon as possible. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. Thank you.